here we are again. Uh, we returned to the lake that we said, well, we probably won't put in here again because it's hard to get out of the water. But you know what? We had pretty good success with throwing the pads and stuff the last time we were here. And Savannah said she wanted to try frog fishing. So she's learned how to use a bait caster now, at least somewhat. It takes a while to perfect, as we all know. Um, but yeah, I'm seeing little minnows kicking around in a little uh, ramp area. And there's something else kicking around in the ramp area. We had a little buddy follow us down here. I don't know if you can see him over there. I'm not sure what his name is or her name. I haven't checked the undercarriage or anything. I figured that was a little invasive. But we're going to go with Rover. It kind of looks like a Rover. Hey, Rover. Henry. Samantha? I don't know. But anyway, it lives just up the street there. Friendly pup. And, uh, yeah. Let's go see if we can find a rabbit for us for lunch. But anyway, we're going to get this thing in the water and, and uh, see if we can catch something today. So come along. Join the adventure. We'll see you on the water. Well, that was a quick fishing trip. Uh, there's been a slight change of plan. Upon further inspection, walking down to the ramp, um, all the pads are spatter dock and they're about pretty tall. They're, I don't know, two, three feet off the water. So frogging is not the bag. Savannah really doesn't know how to pitch and flip very well yet. So that's probably not gonna be the best way to spend our day. It wouldn't be the most enjoyable for her, I'm sure. So we're gonna do something else. We're gonna go somewhere else. We don't know where yet, um, but there's other lakes around here. We'll go find one of them and we'll show you that next. Little pup's still hanging out with us. I believe she's a little girl. No collar, but I'm really sure she lives at that house up there. It's a very nice dog. We'll see you on the lake, wherever we find one. are going to lead us. The fella said, go down here a ways on this dirt road. Yeah, it's dirt too, it's not even gravel, man. You follow it until you find the paved road, and you turn right, and they'll take you to the ramp. Alright. He told me he'd let me put in on his place there for five bucks. But the hill is like this. I said, I can put in there, but I just don't know if I can pull out. Oh boy. They're probably back there laughing. Oh, this is interesting. Turns out this is a four wheeler path. <laughs> oh. Are you ready for rock crawling, uh, crawling today? Yeah, we may have to get in four wheel drive and get out this road. This reminds me of some of the trails in the UP that we took for. 40 or 50 miles up in the bush to find a remote lake. Should have videoed some of those back in the day. Oh yeah, here we go. They got pretty horses. Horses! 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 found some new water. It's got a lot of pads. Where do you start at this point? There's so many. I guess you just uh, look for something different. Look for where a pad point comes out, where the lake opens up. Look for where the pads get just a little bit thicker than other places. And that's where you throw. Find those differences. We got nice flat pads over here, and then and then you got some moss on them, and then there's a spot where they get real thick. To me, that'd be a good suspect for throwing a frog because it's different. Never been.
been on this lake before. No idea what it's gonna hold. First time trying to bait cast, bait caster, and not really good at it. Having a lot of trouble, uh, throw it and then just goes bloop, makes a big splash. Not good, it's not what you want. So, um, just trying to figure out and learn, have fun while I'm at it. So, yeah. Is that an example of what not to do? Yes, because then your line bunches up and you gotta pull it out, fix it. And... It's fun. Yeehaw, cowboy. Here we go again. On a lake full of pads and moss and stuff. Savannah's up front trying to figure out how to get that bait cast rolling again. She had it figured out pretty good the other day on the pond. But uh, the muscle memory's not there yet. For those of you who've never thrown a bait caster, I challenge you to go out and just cast one, having never done it. And let us know how long it takes you to master it. it takes quite a while. Everybody has backlashes to throw the bait caster. If you don't, if you say you don't, either you're the best in the world at it, or you're a liar. So, <laughs> yeah. Um, Anybody with helpful hints for Savannah to help her get better at throwing one? Um, I've offered her a lot of information so far. Just let that line spool underneath your thumb. You don't take your thumb all the way off. Take your thumb all the way off, you're going to get a backlash. First one of the day though. Got pushed really hard. You got this. There you go. There you, go. you wanna sniff them for us? Sniff them for the people back home? What about a kiss? You know that's not gonna happen. She never kisses on the first date. Smells like a fish. They smell like licorice? No, I don't smell that. Oh well. Yeah. Go. Skunk is out the boat. Good job, Savannah. Mm -hmm. There was a uh, wild bird that got in here and was nesting. And before we could cast hard enough to get the bird out of here, it, it made a nest inside the reel. So now we are just, uh, we kicked the bird out, and we're trying to get its nesting material out of this reel. That's basically what it is. It got to be one of those where you had to have a knife to get it out, so you know it's a good one. Yes, indeedy. We're having a ball now. It's about 95 in the shade, 80% humidity. Just starting to warm up good. Hi. I'm out here after really bad um, backlash. I'm trying to tie the line back onto this frog. Uh, I was taught on Friday evening how to do it, but I only did it once. So, uh, I'm gonna try to remember how to do this together. Pinch it so it's tiny little thingy. Stick it through the hole. Like that. Then 
you grab it here. Take your finger. Twister. Like that. Go through that. Like so. Take it over the whole frog. Let's take your line. Tighten it. Because you want this loop to be tight. Point. All the way down. And then I then take this tag in line. This. And you gotta fit. We'll come back. Is that what his name is? <laughs> That's a good one. Well, the people up on shore say this fish's name is Bingo. So it turns out they've got them all named out here. And evidently they've been sending thoughts to them telepathically to not bite until just now. That was a long run of uh, not hooking one. See you, Bingo. Nope. No licorice residue on that one. You have no worm. Yeah, you took my worm. Alright. Back to you. <laughs> now back to your regular broadcasting channel. Okay. Get a worm behind you here, bud. So you take this line and you just lick it. You stick your tongue out at it and go. Nye, 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 nye. Nye. You lick it so it's all nice and wet. And then I'm pretty sure. You're supposed to wet the knot down before you cinch it down. So it don't break. No, not really. Because <laughs> then you're just licking the tag end. Yep, that's the whole point. <laughs> anyway, what he said is correct. I just did it backwards. Sometimes these things happen, it's okay. <laughs> Sometimes plans change. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Let him go. Let him go. Back reel. Back reel. If he starts pulling really hard, just let go of the reel. Oh my gosh. He's a giant. Oh my gosh. Eight pounds. That is every bit of it's huge. That's oh seven at least. <laughs> Hold this, man. I don't know if I can. Yeah, we'll both hands up. I'm here in one minute. Don't let go, whatever you do. Don't fuck up in the water. Don't let go. Don't let go. Don't let go. Come down. Oh my gosh. Here, can you hold him up any further? Let me try to get a picture. Sorry, 21 and three quarters. We don't have our weight, our scale. We do not have our scale, but he is 
So that's 16 minus 22 minus 16. I'm gonna put him in here so we can. That's pretty a lie. Six inches. Yeah, so he's six inches wide. We don't have a way to measure the girth either. <sighs> the, the battery is dead in my scale. My guarantee you that fish is every bit of six and a half pounds. That's the biggest thing I've ever no, caught in my that's, life. That's your PB right there for sure. That was big. Hey, right here. If you're only going to catch a couple a day, they may as well be six to seven pounders. Yeah. Oh my goodness, my daughter. That was a really nice fish. I wonder if anybody up there has got a scale. Maybe we could ask them. That got my me shaking. I can't <laughs> imagine catching it. <laughs> I guarantee you, that fish is almost 22 inches long and it's fat. I mean, if it, if it was skinny, it'd still go five and a half. I've only ever caught one largemouth bigger than that in my life. That was 24 incher out of a private pond. Well, I'm shaking. <laughs> I'm good. Just chill. Kind of like, you know, she shoots a 160 some inch deer last year, non-typical with 15 points. and. I look over at her after the shot and I'm holding the camera like this. And she's just cool as a cucumber. I was like, you have no idea what you just did. You just shot a deer of a lifetime. And now she just caught, in Indiana, that's a bass of a lifetime right there. Guarantee it. Pretty much. Thought maybe I was gonna have the big one today with that two pounder I had. <laughs> oh no, somebody had to be the meat hog. Alan told me I needed to catch the biggest bass today. Yeah, she got to catch Built it. his shoes. Yeah, you got to catch it in my place. And she's caught the most fish today. Something's wrong. I did. Something's wrong. Hey, Mom told me to catch the We most can't fish. take these women fishing with us no more. Nope, we're just going to have to start discriminating. So you want to check on that guy? Turn the air on for him. I'm hurt. Okay, midday update. Uh, we. We planned on going to this lake this morning, and we got there, and it turns out the water was low and the pads were too tall, so that just wasn't going to work out. So we came to this lake, and I thought I was going to be learning how to, how to throw a bait caster and a frog and all that. And, well, we're going along, and all of a sudden, we get a really bad backlash. Terrible. So we had to try to take it apart and it wasn't working, so we had to cut it and retie and all that wonderfulness. So I switched over to a w wacky worm and cast a couple times. Catch me a little small dinker. And then dad throws his wacky worm and catches him a, a, a good issue one, you know, two, maybe two more times. I get this big fish on. First, you know, I was reeling. I was reeling. I was like, oh, this, you know, this feels like a fish. Okay. And it was like, I was like, eh, it's not that bad of a fish. And then I keep reeling. Like, oh, man, this thing's heavy. So then I go, would you? And I'm reeling and I'm reeling and it jumps up. This thing. And get her in. Took forever. Seemed like. Thought it might, might break off, but it didn't. This thing, I'm telling you, it had a big fat belly, nice, softness and wetness to it. That's what you say. And big old you? <laughs> um, Launch donkey. Yeah, one of them big ones. We think it's a seven pounder. We gotta see if someone might have a, a scale. A scale. A fish scale. What's on a fish? That's just scale. A scale. All right, gotta get a scale. Our batteries maybe. are still dead. We ain't replaced them yet. Yeah, we gotta do that. And anyway, uh, the length was 22 inches. We don't know the girth, but the width was six inches. So that's pretty. It's pretty, a thick boy. Pretty big. So uh, we'll uh, let you know if we catch any more monsters. <laughs> <laughs> News update. Boat's moving. <laughs> Amen, brother. Oh. Oh.
frog on. You don't need no gig. Catch a frog on a frog. That's a big one. That's a calm right there. Whoa. Look at that. Holy cow. He's grabbing it. I'm gonna eat that for dinner. That's the second time that's happened. Second time and peed on weeks. you. You wanna give him a smoochy smoochy? Yeah, so cute. Yeah, pretty eyes, don't they? Yeah. That's a nice frog leg, nobody? Yep. You ready to go back now? Okay, give up. Alright. That guy swim. Looks like Michael Phelps under one. So fun. Probably would be fun for him getting a hook in the face with it. Savannah. Post big fish catching. What are your thoughts? The only thing close to it was back when we went to Minnesota. And I had one that we think might have been a five pounder. That was pretty big game changer. Pretty cool. Hello, Gator. Rolling down the road once again on our way back to the ranch. It was a rather short day on the water today. We ran out for a little bit after church, went about an hour north of the house. So we went out the other day and uh, taught her how to use a bait cast for a little bit. She did throw that for a while today and she had some struggles, had some bad backlashes, made a few good casts. and. Uh, end up catching a uh, big hog that you've seen by now. Really nice bass. That was her personal best. We did borrow a scale from some fellow fishermen, but it was kind of an old worn out spring scale. We measured the bass at uh, six and a half pounds. So I don't know how accurate it was. We all think it was a little closer to the weight of a gallon of, of milk. <laughs> I think it's at least seven. It was uh, just shy of 22 inches long. Uh, you know, your average bass that's 22 inches long is around six and a half pounds, but this one had a really thick gut on it. Yeah, big boy. So you guys be the judge. Let us know what you think it might have weighed. Uh, for those of you who have caught one that big, let us know. Leave a comment down below. But for today, that's all we've got. It's been a really hot one. We're kind of wore out getting ready to go back. Alan's got church group tonight and uh, Savannah and I are going to clean the boat up and cool down a little bit in the AC. So thanks for joining us. We'll see you next time in the woods or on the water. Until then.